mister. <laughs> How are you, huh? You glad to see me? <laughs> well, that's fine. You sure have taken good care of him while I've been seeing the sights in Cuba. You're a mighty fine horse, mister. Thanks. You see that, Thunder? You know what it means? <laughs> well, it means I'm out of the army. And as soon as I get into peaceful duds once more, you and I are hightailing it for the Duchess's ranch and Prado. Come on, boy. Hi, Duchess! Galoot I glad to see you. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, Maybe you think I'm not glad to be back. After spending a year in the Army, I'm ready to settle down and just relax. Oh. <laughs> well, if you've got any notions about relaxing, I'm afraid you come to the wrong place. After what you've been through in Cuba is only a sample to what you come back to. <laughs> what set you off on the war path? Well, it ain't men. It ain't no joke. Rustlers took advantage of them able-bodied cowhands going off to war and moved in. But I guess you can rest a couple of minutes, so come on. How's Blizzard and Little Beaver? Oh, Little Beaver's fine, but Blizzard's ailing something terrible. Try not to excite him too much. Well, what happened to him? Oh, the old Billy Goat thought was rheumatism, same as he always had. But the new doc found it was ulcers to boot. Did you say new doc? Yeah. Took him out of the saddle and sent him to bed. What happened to Doc Glover? Oh, he got patriotic and volunteered his services. They sent him to an army hospital somewhere. The new doc's inside with Blizzard now. Come on. But I know how that dead bird stuff makes me feel. Just weaker than a tadpole and another is to go... <gasps> now try and get hold of yourself, Blizzard, and don't get excited. But look who the cat brought back. I know, but... We're red! <laughs> well, <laughs> Blizzard, don't look very sick to me. <laughs> oh, now, listen, now. Oh, now. Take it easy. I told you not to get excited. <laughs> this here's my nephew, Red Rider, Doc. Doc Cole, Red. Pardon my glove. It's a pleasure, Mr. Ryder. I've heard a lot about you. Pleased to meet you. How's your patient coming? Oh, first rate. It's only a question now of getting his digestion straightened out. Well, what the... Yes, yes, I understand. Are you going, Doc? Seems like everybody gets sick at once. Certainly keeps me on the jump. Goodbye, Duchess. Goodbye, Blizzard. Goodbye. Well, just a minute, Doc. I'll see you to your horse. I'll see you, boy. Just how bad has these rustlers got? Well, pretty bad, from what I hear. I'm treating three patients for gunshot wounds, got them trying to fight off raids. You think you'll be able to get Blizzard back in his feet soon? Well, that depends. Fortunately, I caught him in time. Do the best you can. Now is when I could sure use him. At his age? Why? Well, He's think... one of the few honest to goodness old scouts left. And the only one that knows his way around in Lava Basin. Oh, I see. I'll do what I can. Still my sidekick, eh? You bet him. <laughs> Red, he bad news. Bad man catching Bill Tate's cows. Chase himself. Maybe Lava Basin. When this happen? Early this morning. Everybody in town get him heap excited. Sheriff chase him with posse. Maybe we ought to see if we could lend a hand, huh? Do what you can about Blizzard, Doc. Sure thing. About a mile back and riding fast. Frank and I'll lodge ourselves in those rocks up ahead. We'll hold them off until you get back to help us out. this side and you get over there. Right.
middle of a harness net. Take cover and we locate him. Where part of the fire is coming from? It's over there, top of that rock. Better take care of the cows, boy. Let's get back to Matt and Frank. Man, and get out of here fast. the sheriff, but he's headed in the wrong direction. What's wrong, sheriff? What happened? Well, this valley is a beehive of murder and cutthroats. What'd you run into? Where's the rest of your men? Well, they were mowed down. We didn't have a chance. It was fired on from everywhere. Back there, three, maybe four miles. Well, you can't leave your men back there to die. Little Beaver, you ride into town and get the doc over to the Duchess's ranch. If we find the wounded, we'll fetch them there. Come on, sheriff. Anybody got out alive? There was a death trap, lava basin, is it? It always was and always will be, as long as you go in in a body. The only way to get them out from behind them rocks is Indian fashion. Indian fashion? Yeah. How's that? I split up and go in individual. Slow as coal tar and on your belly. Say, Red, that's the way we got them Paiute. You see? We sashayed around behind the butte, and we slipped up on them where there was plenty of rock and brush. See, come to think of it, I'll bet that's where them rustlers has got the stolen cattle hid out. Well, I suppose you know what you're talking about, Blizzard, but mightn't it be safer to bring the rustlers out after you instead of going in after them? Yes, it might. The trick would be to figure out how to go about it. Well, the idea is probably all wet. I'm just a tenderfoot. But maybe if all the ranchers bunched their cattle in one herd, that is, if it could be done secretly, Ryder, so nobody would suspect what you're up to. I was only thinking maybe if they started one big cattle drive out of the valley. Yes, sir, we read. That'd fetch them rustlers out of the basin, a ripping and a snorting. It'd give us a chance to snort back out in the open. You know, Doc, for a tenderfoot, you've come up with a first-rate notion. Thanks. Well, one way or another, we've got to put a stop to all of this shooting. I'm getting more patience than I can care for. Doc Glover ought to get back to give you a hand. The war is over. I wonder what's keeping him. Last I heard, he was in Sherwood Veterans Hospital. Oh? Well, there's Dr. Glover now. Say, doctor, please, we'd like some information. Yes, Tad, what is it? Well, you said you came from Wyoming? Mm-hmm. You know anything about lava basins? Yes, considerable. Why? Well, a bunch of us here thought we'd take advantage of the government's new homesteading law. You know, preference to disabled veterans. Yes, Tad, I've read about it. We thought that would be just the ticket for us. Fresh air, roughing it out in the open. We thought Lava Basin would fill the bill. It's rough, all right. I don't know any place rougher or more completely undeveloped. That goes for all government land. Lava Basin's greatest recommendation, of course, is the bottom land next to the river. Once cleared, it'll grow anything. Do you get a disabled veteran's preference, too? 
No, sir, I'm merely giving these gentlemen the benefit of my advice and experience. Very patriotic. Of course, there's no fee. Well, nothing much to speak of, only a hundred bucks a head. And I'm sure the altitude would be just the thing for Tad. What? <laughs> Excuse me, Doctor, I'm Tad's sister. Of course. I'm going along with him. Thank you so much for your advice. You are more than welcome. The only advice I've heard came from this gentleman. Naturally, you've explained that Lava Basin is in cattle country. Naturally. And cattlemen have no love for nesters. What are nesters? That's the cattleman's name for homesteaders. They don't like them. Claim they mess up the free range. Sometimes they make it very uncomfortable. Well, they better not try any tricks. It'll take more than cattlemen to stop us. I'm afraid our minds are made up, Doctor. That's the path. Well, Tad, I hope everything pans out as well as your sister hopes. Now, I haven't been in a lava basin in over a year. Maybe it has improved. When are you taking the boys on their great adventure? Well, we plan to leave Saturday. Isn't it wonderful, Tad? Wonder how much further it is, Mr. Clark? We ought to be in the next town an hour or so. Lava Basin isn't far beyond. There's a sign up ahead now. Four miles. Well, people aren't very original, naming places after places someplace else. <laughs> Cattlemen attention. I wonder attention about what? I hope it doesn't concern us. Listen to this. A big emergency meeting of all cattlemen will be held at the sheriff's office Friday forenoon at 11 o'clock. Friday? Well, that's today. And it says it's vital. Signed by someone called Red Rider. Must be the big squeeze. Well, what are we going to do about it? Do about what, Bess? Well, can't you see, Tad? The cattlemen have heard we're coming, and they're fixing a not-too-nice reception for us. Well, I can tell them this. This is one bunch of nests they better not fool with. Well, the idea isn't mine. Cut it from the dock here, but I think it'll work. Unless the rustlers get informed what we're up to. That's right. That's why I suggested each man rounds up his cows at night. You might miss a few. But you ought to get the bulk of them bunched in Dry Creek Canyon before news of it reaches anybody outside this room. After that, we don't care. We'll start the drive. Then the only way the rustlers can interfere is to come out and fight us in the open. Anyhow, that's how the doc and I got it figured out. Oh, you were the one that had to figure it out, right? All I contributed was a wild hunch. I really know nothing about cattle. Oh, don't worry, Doc. Red will learn you fast. <laughs> Counting the horses in town, there must be a big meeting. I guess it ain't broke up yet. Well, there you have it, men. We can't promise that nobody will get hurt, but we aim to bring things to a showdown where we'll have at least an equal chance. Are you for it or not? I think it's a good yeah, idea, man. All right. All right. Well, thanks to Doc here. Meeting's adjourned. You did a good job, Ryder. What'd you think of the idea, Jones? I really think we got somewhere. They told me I was a doc here. Right here, my friend. I was riding through to Denver and rubbed up a boil, wondering if you could get rid of it for me. Oh, I might have to lance it. Come to my office. Oh. How's the road to Lava Basin? Awful unhealthy. What's taking you to Lava Basin? I am locating these folks on homesteads there. Well, I wouldn't advise you to do that, mister. The basin's a death trap. The only advice I'm asking is the condition of the road. Well, the road's got nothing to do with it. See, I remember you. You're the fellow that located those nesters in the basin before the war. I don't suspect you've been in touch with them since, have you? If they needed me, they had my address. And what would you have done? All the likes of you gives a hang about is the fees you get. Some of those nesters you left here before are dead now. But that doesn't matter to you, does it? Who are you? A cattleman? Yes, ma'am. You're wasting your breath. We were warned you'd try to scare us out. But neither you nor all the cattlemen in Wyoming can. Well, it appears somebody has given you the notion all cattlemen are goblins, miss. No, just scarecrows. Well, in the basin, miss, you'll have a lot worse to figure with than scarecrows. You fellas haven't got a chance in Lava Basin. 
been taken over by a bunch of cutthroats whose business isn't raising cattle, but rustling them. They're using it for their hideout, and they don't want company around. They didn't stop short of murder to get other nesters out, and you can be sure they won't have any more regard for you. We haven't time to listen to fairy tales. Get on your wagons, men. We're pulling out. Trying to scare us with ghosts next. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? If you take these folks into the basin, they'll be murdered, just like the others were before. No. Now you know what to expect from cattlemen. Of course, if you're afraid, I'll... Afraid? Nobody's afraid of any cattleman, especially him. All right, let's get going. But what I've been trying to tell you is the truth. Ask anybody in town. It's no use, Red. The only way to talk to some folks is to let them find out for themselves. Ha! Yeah! A bunch of nesters is headed this way. Doc says the best way to stop them is to hit them before they get here. Saddle up your horses. Hurry it up. Let's get out of here. Good a spot as any. We'll get them when they come around the bend.
Well, like we showed them. It's a cattleman. This wouldn't have happened if you'd listened when I tried to warn you in town. Now maybe you'll come down off your high horses. Why you? Shooting at people and then crying about it. All right, if you want to be that loco, I give up. Guess that'll teach you there's some nesters that cattlemen can't scare. Hey, Doc. Wait a minute. There's been some trouble out on the road to Lava Basin. I'm afraid those homesteaders that passed through town today got shot up pretty bad. You don't mean to spin another gunfight. The rustlers must have heard they were coming. You ought to go out there. Some of those folks may need your help. Well, yes, only don't you think the homesteaders will turn back to town? Not if that female wildcat that's with them has her say. She sure got her dander up. What makes you think so? A magazine full of rifle slugs she shot at me. And all I aimed to do was help. She's the most unreasonable filly I've ever laid eyes on. Mightn't she start shooting at me, too? Just holler loud enough and let her know you're not a cattleman before you get in range. I'll drop out there and see if I can be of any help. According to Mr. Clark's map, that last creek we crossed is where government land begins. Now all we have to do is start measuring from there and stake out our claim. That is, if we don't have any more trouble with the cattlemen. Well, just let them try and stop us. Hello there. I'm a doctor. I heard you'd run into trouble and thought you might need medical help. Come on down. You all watch your steps. It may be a trick. Howdy, ma'am. Hello. Well, this is very thoughtful of you, doctor. There's only one person that got shot bad, and he's in the second wagon. Well, I'll look after him right away. Oh, no, you needn't. He's uh, already dead. Oh, that's too bad. The only other casualty is my brother over there. A bullet grazed his arm. Well, perhaps I better take a look at it. Oh, it's nothing much. It'll heal itself up in a couple of days. Maybe, but you can't afford to take chances with these wounds. They're sometimes deceiving. Uh, a little disinfectant should fix that up. Who told you to come out here? Nobody. It was my own idea. There was word around town that the cattlemen had already given you a small sample of what to expect. Seemingly, they've made up their minds to drive you out. Is that why you came out here? To tell us that? Oh, no, certainly not. All that I know is what I gathered from a lot of loose talk. Well, there's no loose talk about this. We intend to fight it out on this line if it takes all summer. Now, sis, there's no sense in just asking for trouble. We're not asking for it. But we're not running away from it either, Ted. Get that word around town, Doctor. Tell them if they strike, we strike back. And we'll give them just as good as we take. Please, now. I'd rather be left out of this. How does that feel? All right, I guess. Fine. Well, i better hurry along now. I have other patients to care for. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. If we get too tangled up in a fight with nesters, the cattlemen might steal a march and get their stock out to market. Right now, it's better as it is. As what is? Leave the fight be between the nesters and the ranchers. That'll give us the free hand. Then when the time comes, it'll be simple for us to do whatever we want to. I did my best to explain that you cattlemen had nothing to do with the attack, Ryder, but I couldn't make the girl listen. A man as sick as you had no business eating all that food. Well, that's what I tried to tell him, but Red... Now, look here. You just leave Red out of this. I made up my own mind. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die with my boots on. And there ain't no law to stop a man from the way he wants to die. Now, is there? Is, is, is there? Is there? I guess he's got a point there, Doc. I don't set myself up as any kind of a medicine man, but I've noticed that some folks can't be cured according to Hoyle. The only occasions they get real sick is when they take time off to worry about what ails them. Yeah, that and when their trigger finger gets out of killer or out of practice. <laughs>
What did you say? Anything serious? He got away before I could tell who he was. Well, this tells who he was. One of them nesters. You sure got yourself in a pickle when you started sticking your nose in their business. Well, doggone it, Red, what did he say? Oh, is everybody going to keep it a secret? Just somebody blowing off steam. But when anybody gets mad enough to want to get even, they don't go around bragging about it ahead of time. Just the same. I don't want to be burned out of house and home. I'm going to take it to the sheriff. Well, suit yourself. But I don't see any sense in wasting any more time on misguided Nestor. How'd you make out? We find 60 head cows in East Ranch, driving to Squaw Canyon. Did any of the other ranchers have their cattle there yet? Sure, a heap many. They say bring more tomorrow night. Well, boys, see that your guns are clean. Looks like we'll be starting a big drive along about Tuesday morning. Dry Creek. You're off hitting mine will break loose and ride guard along the ridges on both sides. That way we'll be able to hem the rustlers in if they start cutting any capers. Hey, Red! Red! Hey, Red! Fire just broke out at the Duchess Ranch. We haven't got enough men to get it under control. Well, how did it start? I don't know, but it's spreading to the Billings on Cooper's Ranch. We're gonna have to have help. Joe, tell Jackson to hold the cattle in the canyon. Leave one or two to help him and send the rest after us. Let's go, Sheriff. Let's go. Where's the burning now, Blizzard? Uh, it's the Dutch's barn over yonder. The ones who ran to Ed Cooper. And they need water. I'm a pumping and the Dutch's is a hole. What happened to the cows? I hope they're safe. Jackson's got him hit back in the canyon. It's no use, Ed. A whole river full of water couldn't save that barn now. You might as well come on in, boys. What's the matter with your hand, Red? Oh, it's nothing. Probably burnt it when we try to get the horses out. What beats me is how anybody knew where we had the cows hid. It don't seem natural that anybody would be spying on us at night, unless they got wind of what we were up to. Unless they stumbled onto them accidentally. Well, in order to do that, somebody would be stumbling a long way from home. Aren't you tying that a little tight, Doc? Mm, you can't take chances with a second-degree burn. Got to keep the air out. Otherwise, it'll be a mess. Yeah, just like I've been making of everything. All we did was save the rustlers the trouble of rounding up the beef for themselves. There. That'll hold you for today, Ryder. I'll take another look at it tomorrow. I got to go out to Bill Jackson and see how he's getting along. Certainly keeps me on the jump. Hey, Red, look him. Uh, I found this down where the fire started. Somebody emptied it, you see? And then they flung it in the ditch. That's what I've been telling you, Sheriff. That fire didn't set itself. Are you sure this ain't yours, Duchess? 
Of course I'm sure. And stop wasting time asking silly questions. Arrest them nesters. Throw them in jail. Well, the sheriff can't be locking folks up in jail just because Blizzard happened to find a coal oil can. Now, you let me handle this, Red. Trying to pass it off when folks throw rocks through my windows. Well, are you a peace officer or ain't you? Well, it ain't very strong evidence, actual. Somebody makes a threat and then that threat is carried out. What more evidence do you want? It won't hold up in the court Why, of law. I... All right, I'll go and see what I can find out. Now, the trouble is, everybody is jumping too fast to conclusions. Jump in my eye? It's as clear as the nose on your face. Well, one thing isn't. If the nester started that fire, how did it happen to be so convenient for whoever rustled those cows? No, Duchess. This thing goes a lot deeper than it appears from where we stand. Oh! Howdy. Nice day, ain't it? Grand. What are you doing here? We're clearing a place to build our home. You must belong to that outfit of nesters that come in recently. Yes, sir. We're homesteaders, if that's what you mean. Any objections? No. I'm just curious about who set the fires yesterday. What fires? We don't know anything about any fires. That's peculiar. I suspect you don't know anything about this, neither. Somebody threw it in the rancher's window. Why, the liars. None of us wrote that note. We wouldn't be that crazy. The way it's worded, it couldn't be anybody else. You mean that... After this note was received, fires were actually started, Sheriff? Burned out the best part of two ranches. Well, then they started it themselves. And they wrote that note, too, to make it look bad for us. Ted, that's it. The cattlemen are trying to make an excuse to drive us off our homesteads. It don't make sense. Cattlemen couldn't make use of your homesteads. And the whole of Lava Basin is nothing but a refuge for rustlers. You better come in with me and do your explaining to the judge. All right, I'll go. Ted, don't be a fool. They can't hurt me. It's time somebody found out what's at the bottom of this. Sheriff, grab his horse rider. Take it easy. What are you aiming to do? Teach this nester a lesson. There's been a lot of fires around here lately, Sheriff. And we ranchers figure those nesters are responsible for them. Oh, no. Don't. You can't. Let her go. Let him go. See that you do, son. Devils. Those no good devils. That's all they are, Ted. Just cowards and devils. They didn't leave it to the law, did they? Then why must we? The only way to get justice around here. Please, here's... miss. Everybody sticks up for the cattlemen. You don't care what they do. You and the sheriff. And... No, sis. The sheriff said he'd bring Ryder in. But he tried to talk us out of it, didn't he? Why, you wouldn't even admit he heard his name called. Well, Ted, he'll just go on lying for him. And so will you. So will everybody. Well, Red, it sure puts me on the spot knowing you wouldn't do anything out of the way. And everybody but these homesteaders know the same. Now, don't worry, Sheriff. All you've got to do is put on your show. And you, little beaver. Take the horses round back of the jail. Stay as close as you can. Move aside, folks. Let the patient have a good look. Son, does he look like the fellow you made reference to? Yes, sir. I couldn't see his face, but that hand is wrapped up the same. 
You're positive you heard him called by name? Yes, Ryder. Well, what have you got to say about that, Ryder? Just mistaken, that's all. Can you prove it? It's his word against mine. No, it ain't. I was there and saw you, too. I'm holding you for attempted murder. Nobody's gonna put me in jail. Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Get away from me! Let me have him here! Got it, I missed him. Well, you're not gonna let him get away, are you? You've got to chase him down. Well, of course not. Uh, men, get on your horses. The prisoner escaped. It's one off to the right. but it looks like he just plumb disappeared. Well, you mean you're giving up? Well, no, ma'am, but 24 hours in the saddle is about all one ought to do with horse flesh. We better quiet down now and figure strategy. And let Ryder get out of the country while you're making up your mind. Oh, no, he won't get very far. Somebody will pick him up. And I'll telegraph description of him and the Indian kid all over the state. Well, that may be your idea of catching a criminal, but it isn't mine. Now, hold on. Where are you going? To find Ryder. doctors would have needed a hospital with the staff and nurses to save that leg, but I'll have it as good as new in no time. Yes, Matt, the writer had something a lot deeper in mind than just putting on a show with the sheriff. What, you think the sheriff was in on it? Of course. Does that feel tight enough? I haven't made up my mind yet just how smart Ryder is, but it doesn't hurt to be caught as long as he's on the loose. Where do you guess he is? I never guess. If I keep my eyes and ears open, I don't have to. Jim, hurt heat much, Red? Plenty. Fair up to my elbow. That heat bad. Me think maybe you better go back to Annie Dutch's house. Me fetch doctor man there. Oh, that'd be too risky. Maybe if you went back and told the Duchess to call him on the telephone, she could send him up here. I can't tell you what you're needed for right now over the telephone, but it's awful serious, Doctor. Can't you come right out? Yes, Doctor. Oh, thanks. It must have been the rustlers trying to scare the nesters out. One of them made himself up to look like Red. That's about the way I thought it stacked up, until he slugged the sheriff and escaped. If he's innocent, that wasn't very smart. That heaps smart. You ask him, Sheriff. Why, sure, the Sheriff and him had it made up, pushed themselves way ahead of time. <laughs> yes, sirree, that's mighty smart. See, that got the nesters out of his hair for a spell, and that gave him a chance to find out something about the rustlers. I see, but just what does he expect to do? Oh, <laughs> that's an old trick I used to play on the engines. You see, 
I used to make them think that I'd skipped out, then I'd scout around till I found out where they was hid. <laughs> well, the only thing is he can't do much scouting when his hand is hurting like it is. He won't do any scouting at all if blood poisoning sets in. You go pronto fix him? Of course. I'll go out and see what I can do. Can you tell me the way? We don't tell. We go along. We ride heap fast, get there quick. All right, that's a fine idea. I'll see you later, Duchess. Goodbye, Blizzard. Goodbye. Find out how bad it is, Doctor, and you, little beaver. Scoot back and let me know, huh? Does that hurt much? Not to speak of. Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell the Duchess everything's going to be all right, little beaver. Golly, me heap glad. That makes Duchess heap glad, too. Could have been pretty serious, Ryder. I guess you're right. They say some men have died from less. <laughs> but not you. When you die, it won't be from any second degree burn. Thanks, Doc. It gives me one less thing to worry about. <laughs> sure hurts like the blazes. Oh, that has to be expected. But not for long. Trouble you much at night? Keeps aggravating. Don't give me much chance to sleep. I see. Well, I guess we'll have to do something about that. Sleeping pills. Take them and go to bed early. You'll catch up on all the sleep you need. Thanks, Doc. Uh, you're lucky, Ryder. I've still got a lot of work to do before I can go to bed. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. watched your ranch long enough, I'd find something to lead me to you. Keep your hands away from your guns. Well, sure. Is this a social call? There are a few things you and I should talk over. All I want to know is who beside you tried to kill my brother. Now, there you go again, jumping at conclusions. Instead of giving me credit... I didn't expect you'd tell. All right. If I've got to die, I'd like to have it over with quick. You'll raise that gun a little higher. Oh, let me go! Now, I know this isn't the way to treat a lady. But if you insist on being too stubborn to listen, there's only one thing for me to do. Lock you up until I clear up what I started out to do. Go down and make a sick call on Ryder. Then we'll go ahead and take care of what's left of the nesters. You come with me, Matt. Never mind, Matt. After those two pills I gave him, it'd take a stampede to wake him up. Come on. Good long sleep. Nice of you to come back so soon, Doc. Then you've always been Johnny on the spot, haven't you? If 
Took me a while, though, to wake up to the fact. Now, keep your hands like they are. And don't forget I can dish out sleeping pills, too, if I have to. I didn't expect you to be that careless, Doc. You emptied the one gun you had between you. Now, you're right handy at bandaging. Your friend can stick his hands behind him. Go ahead. You've got a lot more work to do tonight, remember? All right, that's fine. Now turn around, start walking. I've got my own private calaboose. Ought to hold you two for a while, right up that tunnel. Maybe you'll believe what I've been trying to tell you. The doc out there. Come on, man. I got him bowled up. giving you back your sleeping pills. Fainted just like any other woman. Howdy, folks. Hello, Mr. Ryder. The Duchess had some lumber left over from her new smokehouse. She thought it might come in handy out here. Are you sure you didn't go and buy it on purpose for us? Didn't you hear what I said? It was the Duchess's idea. Come on, little Peter, help me unload. You know, Mr. Ryder, you're. Well, you're making me feel more and more ashamed for the way I acted. Well, anybody that didn't make a mistake now and then would get awful tiresome. Here, grab a hold of these. That's it. You know, little beaver, she'd be awful pretty if she got all dressed up. Ouch! Me think too pretty. Come on, help get bored. 